Hello and welcome. This is Aceless John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. For this tutorial, I'm going to be going over the full screen activity. So let's get started. What it's going to end up with is something that looks a little bit like this. I'm going to use a different image. Um, and then we'll get this dummy button down here to have a toast with a little caption in it. Uh, that way you'll, you'll have more of an understanding of how this works and how to affect the different aspects of it. So that's our plan. So let's call this one Big Cat. Next. Uh, 15 is fine. Full screen activity. Finish. And we'll wait for it to finish. Okay, now yours should, should look something like this. I changed my my, my theme back to default light like I always, almost always do. Now when you run this, you should come up with something that looks like this. You might get a little uh, first time run message on it. Um, basically that's what it does. Double click it, it opens a little bit larger, gets rid of all the headers and the footers. And when you click it again, it goes back to this big cat, dummy button, and that's all it is. So in order to uh, make this a little bit more interesting, we're going to put an image in here and we're going to make it so that this dummy button, when you click it, other than just look pretty, it's going to, uh, <laughs> it's going to uh, have a toast pop up with a message. So let's begin. Go over here to the component tree, the full screen, and I like to right click, go to declaration, and that goes exactly to the declaration you need. And we're going to be changing this from a text view to an image view. And you can literally just come in here and go text view and replace it with image there. And you're done. You've replaced it with an image view. Now when you go back to design, the dummy message will be gone. Go back over here and find source. And put your image in. Now to add an image your drawables, uh, I find the fastest way is to go again into um, show and explore, go into your drawable folder, open it up, importing it and just drag and drop, copy here. This is a 600 by 800, uh, 600 wide, 800 by image. Come back in here and assign it. It'll be under project, not under color but under drawable and it's usually one of the last ones cats right there there you go and you've got a picture of a cats and when you flip it sideways it doesn't fit quite as well but it still works all right so there's that um, so let's run this and see what it looks like well when you run it this is what you get and uh, it's not bad looking but I want this to fill the entire screen so I want to go back in here and we're going to select the full screen and drag this all the way as far as we can take it. All the way up. There we go. And make sure yours is center, center. That, that will be much more advantageous when we go to full screen. And then we'll run it to see what it looks like. And here we are when we go to full screen, much bigger picture. Really takes advantage of the uh, fact that it's got the menus and everything gone. So that's what you're looking for. That's awesome. So, good place to start. So how do we get this to work so that when we click this button, we get a, a, a toast up? Well, let's look at that. And we'll go to Java full screen activity and we know it has something to do with the dummy button so let's just look for dummy oops ah control F control control F dummy there it is dummy button is that the only instance that's the only place that has dummy button all right so this is what we need to modify. So find view by the set on touch of the mind. 
So this already has a function. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to set up our own on, set up our own on click listener, um, so that when we click that button, because then this is already assigned to do something else, we will have a, a separate happening. So since they created the, let me see, let me see, let me see. So these are here, but where are these variables created? Let's find out where they're created. View, okay, so let's create a private button. And let's call it the cat button. And we're gonna have to alt enter Get the button in there. So we scroll back down here to uh, where we were, find eye view. Uh, let's put the show line number so it'll just be easier to follow. So we want to also find view by ID. So let's do that here. Added. Uh, and we want to say cat button equals find view by ID r dot ID dot dummy button there we go all right so this is all red right click on this well I'll show you why you have to cast it to an Android widget button we'll do that here and that fixes that issue because I forgot to put the button there. So that's all set up. Now to add the on click listener. And basically, yeah, you can take this, copy it, come down here, push enter, V, and then copy. And uh, yeah. We've got your on click listener there. We just need to replace this with our toast. Toast, we're going to put in, of course, you know, start out with toast. Uh, dot make text. Uh, get application context. And then we want a comma. And then we want to add the text. A lion. Lioness and her cub. Leave no period, just use it as a example, comma, toast dot length short, close that, and when do we need to show? Show, and there we go. Run it and see what happens. All right, it's running, and when you click on it, it goes down, the dummy button comes up, a lioness and her cub. Aww, there. Well, congratulations. Uh, you've created a pretty interesting app as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but then again, this only is true if you're a cat person. So, all right. So one thing I want to show you before I leave is you've got this looking really nice and it looks great when it's full screen. But if you didn't notice, when you turn it sideways, it doesn't look so good. Not only that, but there's not really any way to effectively fix that because, and I'll show you this, when you go in here and make a new one, landscape var variation, and you go select this and let's say, let's get out of the DPI and let's go to uh, wrap content and wrap content. You think, wow, that looks good too. And then you run it, it does this, you know, this is, this is nice, this is what you want. And then you turn it sideways and it still looks like garbage. Like what's going on here? I'll show you how to fix this. So we'll leave it like this. Go back to your screen, uh, your Android Studio. Go into your manifest. And you see this line right here? Very useful line, I'm sure. Delete it. And then run again. And it looks good. Now to test this, Control F11 again. Go back to your full screen and it does look good. Because that line keeps the... Uh, phone from 
refreshing the uh, the the app when you turn it sideways for some reason and so if you had gone in there and turned it sideways without that with that line still in place and it was ugly and then you restarted the app in landscape view it would have looked okay but for some reason anyway that fixes it so there's your solution to that there are some major aspects of this particular uh, template i hope you've learned something and are able to walk away with a little bit more knowledge it's ageless john teaching another android studio tutorial don't forget to subscribe and a thumbs up and i'll see you around